Well, uh, I hope they would know it, but they might not know it. I know I learned it. I, you know, I've been on council two years now. We have a lot of hardworking city staff behind the scenes that you never run across, but they're really dedicated to public service. They're dedicated to doing a good job uh, under sometimes harsh conditions. You know, when you think about what our firemen do and what our police officers do day in, day out, you know, our electrical workers, our, you know, all of our, our guys, whether it's sanitation or transportation, we've got a lot of hardworking people, and it's, it's a pleasure to represent them as a city councilman. I've also got to learn, got to meet an interesting cross-section of the community. There's a lot of neat people in Stillwater, just your average citizens that I never would have had an opportunity to meet. Uh, I think the city of Stillwater is a very special place. We have a lot to be proud of and, and a lot of it has to do with the people that are here, whether they're in city government or just members of the community. I, I don't think you can uh, describe Stillwater without you know, the university being in the discussion somewhere. I think being the quintessential college town, uh, being a small town, uh, you know, it's a special environment and one of the best places. When I go across the country and visit other friends and you know in other cities in Oklahoma, they are jealous of what we have in Stillwater. You know, being a small, safe community, college town with all the things that a college town brings to a community, that makes special. That makes Stillwater very special. favorite thing about working on City Council, I'm going to go back to the people. Again, it's the city staff that I meet and work with, uh, get aggravated with and argue with. Uh, I love working through problems with them and I love meeting citizens through issues that come about and you get, get to know them and help understand what their concerns are, their issues are and try to get to reasonable solutions. I, I would say just the people on all sides of issues is the most interesting and rewarding part of being on a city council. Well, I'm, I'm the Vice President for Administration and Finance here at the University and I have quite a range of responsibilities and it takes quite a bit of time just to do the day job, the one that pays the bills. And when you add city council on top of that, uh, I had to give up a few things. Uh, that I was involved in. I, you know, I'm a member of Countryside Baptist Church and I was involved on that church board and frankly I had to back away from that a little bit because there's only so many hours in the day. But I do love my family, I do love to just spend unstructured time with them and to the extent I can do that I do. We love to garden, we, we love to just be together and do things together, uh, but it, it just seems like there's so few hours in the day to you know, I'm not a golfer, I don't fish, I don't hunt, I, do, I don't do those kind of things. The closest thing I would say if I had to throw something out there would be to, uh, to say I'm a gardener. I like to grow roses and I like to grow vegetables in the summertime. We have, we should be very proud of our community. And I think we have a lot going for just as it is and there's wonderful things that we can do to make it even better. But I think we sometimes take for granted just how neat a place Stillwater is and how much, you know, as a, as a university employee, I hear it a lot from alums that come back to visit. They'd give anything to live in Stillwater, just to be a part of this community. We should treasure what we have and we should take care of it and we should be proud of it.